Today we will see the interface of ArcGIS Arc Map 10.8 version. So let's see uh, the Arc Map interface. Here you can see the file, edit, view, bookmarks, etc. Just clicking the file, you can see different options. Edit, you can see different options. View, bookmarks, insert. You can see in the insert different options again pictures etc selection view processing buffer clip interest etc uh, intersect etc coming towards customize here you can see toolbars uh, in the toolbars again here are too much uh, tool sets just drop down you can see a lot of different tools clicking the windows button in the windows you can see different options again like overview magnifier viewer table of contents clicking the table of contents you will see different uh, options like when you add the data to the arc map just again clicking the toolbars you can add different tools and uh, menus from this toolbars just coming down I'm clicking just the standard here click standard and you can see that the uh, toolbar has been added to the menu in the front sorry so here coming again adding something else whatever you required you can add here from this toolbars option like topology TIN editing etc so here you can see that I have again added something on the front it is just the introduction of ArcGIS ArcMap 10.8 version uh, interface. Uh, different kinds of tasks can be performed uh, using this software, you know, like view processing, etc. Uh, analysis uh, for different purposes. Uh, here you can see the Arc toolbar, uh, to Arc toolbox. So uh, in the Arc toolbox, different uh, kind of tool, uh, tools are available for different kind of uh, uh, processing and analysis here you can see analyst tools extract overlay proximity etc just clicking the, the one you can see uh, a lot of all uh, different uh, data uh, sorry uh, tools just clicking maximize it or minimize it Here you can see analysis tools that I have again minimize. These different tools can be used for different analysis. Like use statistics interpolation. For the interpolation purpose, different tools are given. I just click uh, IDW and was uh, just clicking OK because I haven't added anything so it give me nothing so again I can open the IDW IDW is the technique used for interpolation click IDW special analyst or use uh, statistical analyst whatever you uh, want you can enter so the same again I have opened This is a statistical tool. Uh, different tools are also available, like uh, Kriging. Uh, so, in the IDW, uh, you can add any kind of uh, special data and uh, can run analysis and can find interpolation using this method. Just I'm adding the data from the standard menu. Here you can see that the data has been added. This kind of data is known as a raster data, which is digital elevation model. So this is the digital elevation model, and it's uh, uh, there are two types of data, uh, like vector data and raster data. So this one is the raster data, and the main uh, uh, picture uh, that you can see here on the uh, screen that is, it's just only the uh, digital elevation model. So this is the layer properties. You can see the different things. Uh, band 1 uh, here you can see the minimum and maximum 
and you can also see uh, different properties extent the extent of the image can be seen here at the top right bottom and left so uh, these are the details of the uh, picture or you can say the image so in the remote sensing we will uh, call these pictures just uh, images coming towards the different colors that is in the symbology you can change the color of the raster using different symbology so I have clicked this one from the blue to uh, dark red now we will click OK, uh, apply or ok it will just change the color of the raster so here you can see that the lowest values are in the blue and the highest are in the uh, red uh, color so here the highest values are 6263 and the lowest are 2096 thank you